Welcome to this new video. Today we are at the Elena meeting in Germany. We have some amazing planes here, flew all the way from America. We have the huge C-17, Tyler Perry and Rami were building, and the big 747, which was flying in Germany before and now is back in Germany. Both planes got certified yesterday and I want to show you a bit behind the scenes of how that works. I brought my small Cessna with me and Besides these huge planes, it looks so tiny, even though it's three meters wingspan. But we're gonna fly and have some fun, enjoy the weather. Hopefully there's no rain. And now enjoy the video. This is Oppingen in Germany. That's the airfield where the Alana meeting takes place every two years. Both planes came here a few days earlier in huge boxes and thank God nothing was damaged during the shipping. It's crazy to see how huge these planes are. I've also only seen the C-17 in Rami's YouTube videos and now to see it in person, it's totally different. I mean, just look at these cables, isn't that crazy? So here in Germany, every plane above 25 kg needs to get a certification as the pilot also gets a certification to fly. So not only the plane gets a certification, but also the pilot flying. And that's why Tyler and Rami were flying a small plane to show that they are able to fly a plane. For the 747 it was a bit easier because it was not only built in Germany, but also it flew in Germany a few years ago with four turbines and now everything is converted to electric. The C-17 and the 747 are flying with 14S between 11 and 17,000 milliamps. And now every control surface, every cable, every screw is being checked to make sure the plane is ready to fly. Which battery is it? Do you want to? Something as full as beeping. Well, now it's time to put all the pieces together. Now the big one? Yes. Now they will start assembling that while the inspector is checking this. And then, uh, yeah. so far it's approved, everything is good. Awesome. Now every control surface is being checked for high loads. That's very critical because the plane has to handle that during flight. Oops. 
Now, after everything is checked, the 747 is ready for the re-main flight here in Germany. That should be an easy job because it was doing over 200 flights already in Atlanta. And even though there is no asphalt runway here, the plane Six. took off after a few meters. During the check flight, the C-17 and the 747 has to go through around 3 to 4 Gs. They are flying special maneuvers to achieve that. Now the wings of the C-17 are being attached. They are quite heavy so you gotta have three people doing that. And now all cables go through the fuselage to the ESCs. See from behind the. We just need to get it up. Yeah, just hold it up. That's great. Yeah. After the plane is assembled, Rami is also making sure everything is working as it was working in Delta, and the inspector puts loads on the control surfaces to make sure the plane can handle it. but that worked without any problem. Now comes the most critical part, the weight check. Is the plane under 150 kilograms? The only problem? The plane was barely fitting on the scale. But you will see the result in a second. How much is it? 149.4. That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> Under 150? Yes. Under 150. <laughs> and now the only thing left to do is the main flight on this airfield in Oppingen, Germany. Well, the only concern we had was that the airfield was wet and in Atlanta they have an asphalt runway, so it was much easier for the plane to take off.
that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this small behind the scenes. That's right.